Hey everybody, welcome to another video. So today I'm gonna to show you guys how I successfully grow Crip Pink Panther, right? The pink Crip without any CO2 and how I get the desired pink color, right? Without any CO2 as well, okay? It can be done, okay? A lot of people have this, you know, like idea of Crip Pink Panther and they believe it's like this hard plant. You need CO2, you need a bunch of fertilizers, all that stuff, you know, to make it grow you know really nicely and really well but the truth is you don't need all that stuff okay so just sit back take in as much information as you want and i'm going to teach you everything that you need to know about growing crit pink panther without any co2 so my first advice is getting the right plant okay because there's a bunch of ways you can get crink a uh, crit pink panther first um, is through hobbyists, right? Like myself, I have an Etsy shop, which if you want to check out, the link is in the description. I sell Crip Pink Panther, right? And it comes from this batch right here. Um, and yeah, I mean, there's me, there's a bunch of other hobbyists that sell Crip, Crip Pink Panther. That's a good source because if you're getting it from a hobbyist, you're likely getting it tank raised, right? So it's already used to growing in your tank. And for me, especially the reason why I sell, like I grow Crip, Crip Pink Panther in CO2 because, you know, uh, I, I have some CO2 tanks with Crip Pink Panther so it grows faster and all that stuff. But the reason why I sell from this tank without any CO2 is so that you get a plant that is not um, used to CO2. It's used to growing without CO2 so it's easier for your aquarium, right? So for those people that may not have CO2 but they um, you may want to try and grow it. It will be a little easier, right? So this is grown without CO2. So if you want to try it, this will probably be your best bet from me um, Some other people grow it with I think most other people grow it with CO2 But still yet, yeah, right? You're getting a tank raised plant that is not immersed grown Okay, so that's what I would recommend you can get it immersed grown, right? There's a bunch of um, bigger like you're usually gonna get those like in the pots, right? Like if you see like a Crip Pink Panther pot for like 30 to like 45 bucks, that's usually gonna be grown immersed, right? You're gonna get like this bigger plant um, it has been growing immersed. It, and what I mean by growing immersed, I mean growing out of water. And when you grow it out of water, you're gonna get a limited CO2 from the air and all that stuff. And it's not used to growing in your tank, right? Like just like how you have to acclimate fish, you're gonna have to acclimate plants. And basically you think of it this way, these guys are already acclimated to your tank, right? If you grow, if you buy it immersed, it's not acclimated, it's not, you know, it's not ready to be in your tank. So there's going to be a transition pay, uh, phase, excuse me, which does possibly include some melting of the plant, which possibly could kill it entirely. Um, so there's always that. So for me, if you're going to get a Crip Pink Panther, always try to get it. Um, like tank raised or from some hobbyists. If you can't get a tank raised, then your next best bet is to get a tissue culture. Okay, when I first started growing Crip Pink Panthers, I got it from um, from ADA, um, which is a, well, honestly the best, I mean, I have, I've tried a few others, but in my opinion, the ADA tissue culture for Crip Pink Panther is the best. Um, I, I can successfully um, you know, take it out of the cup, wash the gel off, and plant it straight into a low, not, not really a low tech, but like, you know, a non-CO2 tank, and it grows successfully. So that's what I would recommend. Um, it, you know, if there's probably some other ones you could get to, like some other brands I haven't tried, but if you're gonna, if you can't get a tank raised, get the ADA tissue culture, that works really well. My next tip is gonna have to be choosing the right substrate, okay? Because CO2, right, that helps the plant grow. It's like an added, like, you know, fertilizer, nutrient, whatever you wanna, you know, like describe it as, right? It's just another beneficial addition to your plants to help them grow, you know, and look better and grow faster. Since you remove that, you're gonna have to make sure that your substrate is gonna be good too, okay? Because your substrate is definitely gonna be, you know, like the primary source of nutrients other than like light, of course, right? It's gonna be, you know, where your plant gets a bunch of nutrients from. And you can use a bunch of other substrates. I've used a bunch of other substrates too. Um, but in my opinion, the best is definitely going to have to be ADA Amazonia. Okay, I, this is ADA Amazonia regular. I think this is the version, the second version. I could be wrong. Actually, I think it's the older version. There, I think um, now you're going to have to like get like the, the, ver like the second version, which is like, I think like not as like nutrient rich as this one, but it still works fine. Um, that in my opinion is the best um, for a few reasons. Number one, I just love the um, 
the way that like I, not the way but i just love you know how plants just grow in ad amazonia i mean i i, I don't want to get too like you know termy and like all like you know like all, all this terminology and all that stuff but it works really well with a bunch of plants um i use it for all my aquascapes it, you know you, you probably get like the best like nutrients from ad amazonia for your plants i honestly think that's like the one of your best bets um also for me at least compared to a bunch of other substrates and this is not really about nutrients but it does a good job holding your plants down right like if you're you know into like planted tanks and aquascapes you know that a bunch of substrates out there right well like you know are not the best for holding down plants ad amazonia is a like a pretty solid substrate for that so that's just an added bonus but in my opinion go with the ad amazonia you will love it i mean i, I yeah it's just great I, I think it's the best substrate out there definitely and i use it for all my shrimp tanks this is just this is just a, like a you know a low grade you know mixed not mixed but like i say a low grade mixed grade cherry tank um and i am the, the cherries love it and it's great for growing plants um okay so my next advice is lighting okay so i have a chichiro's light on this tank which is a pretty good like light it's like you know has like you know like that spectrum and all that stuff those usually work better right like i have i grow um some amazonia under the ada um aqua sky that works good too but honestly comparing the two lights i i honestly prefer the chichiro's the ada one um it, it's pretty good too but i just don't get that same coloration as i do with this one twin star works great too i've used twin star but the chichiro's i get that that's honestly in my opinion the 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 trick for me to get that color I, that lighting that lighting works super well because um i've had these crypts in other tanks before like i i, I um they, they've been in here for maybe like a like a like a month or so and you know you just get you seeing all these new pink leaves and that's with this new light i mean sure the substrate could have an effect on that but i believe that the light plays a big role into getting that nice pink color as you can see with the new leaves okay now for water quality and like you know your parameters and stuff i'm gonna be honest with you i don't pay attention you know since this is my cherry shrimp tank um you know once i set it up i just check to see the parameter like i check every maybe like month or so i don't pay attention at all really like as much as i should i don't and 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 honestly it's i i, I you know you can see the growth i i don't it doesn't affect it at all um it it grows well without me checking the water parameters um i have this thing growing in my uh oh uh, so yeah my i have it in my purple red line triple uh s grade shrimp tank I grow it in that tank that has 80 Amazonia um, and that grows well too. I get the same growth rate, the same coloration um, in that tank too. So, you know, those are two, you know, if you know shrimp, right, those are two different water primers, right? The pH are, is different in those tanks, but it still grows the same for me. So it doesn't really like get affected by pH. You know, it's pretty hardy in terms of water quality and like your parameters and stuff. So it has a pretty wide range. So I don't really worry about that at all. So yeah, that that's something that should be like, you know, if you want to check it, be my guest, right? You know, good for you. You probably should be checking it, but I don't. And I, and I still, you know, get that kind of growth that um, I really like. Um, I guess, I guess like the next thing I would have to say is fertilizers. I don't use fertilizers. I don't, I don't need it. I mean, I feel like it could help a little bit, but I don't, I don't use fertilizers. And um you know i just have a good system going right now i don't want to you know risk it so yeah that's the reason i don't have fertilizers but for the most part this is a pretty easy plant to grow um i kind of just went over it a little briefly if you want me to expand on it more or if, if you have more questions just let me know down below in the comment section but i appreciate you guys watching today's video leave a like hit subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one